Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Carrie. This is Keep It Simple DIY. I have a very small grocery order today and the only reason I purchased was because there was a coupon. So I want to talk about how I use coupons to buy when things are on sale to save me money in the long run. Before any coupons or deals, this order was $103 and I bought items that typically don't go on sale. Occasionally some of these items will go on sale, but really rarely, especially because most of these are store brand items. So I made sure when I saw that $15 off $100 to purchase the items that typically don't go on sale, so I'd make sure to get a good deal on them. So the two most expensive items here, of course, are the toilet paper and the litter. Ironically, same category, just human cat. And so these items automatically 15% off, right? I make sure whenever I'm doing the something off 100 to not spend more than $100 because that would lower the percentage that I'm getting off. If I were to spend $115, I would still only get $15 off and I would prefer to have the biggest bang for my buck. So there's a few things that I did with this order in addition to that. So let me run through what I have, why I bought the things that I did. Oh my gosh, the cat just threw a toy. So let me walk through the things that I bought real quick because you might be interested on why I have such an odd amount of things. And then I will tell you all about the deal saving because it wasn't just $15 off of $100. I got two packages of toilet paper just to restock upstairs. I have a whole section in my laundry room where I like to keep things and then I stock a bunch of toilet paper that I don't touch and it's there just for emergencies. And then I always run through two. And so right now the section where I keep two doesn't have any so I got two to refill it. Same thing with the litter. I always stock two on back stock and then two in my litter boxes. They're the Ikea Brimes ones so I can fit the litter above the actual litter box. I already have one in the Brimes cabinets, but I did buy two just because it was such a good deal and they really don't go on sale very often. Now next down, I got two different kinds of nuggets. Uh, we haven't tried the Good and Gather Dino Nuggets, but we love the Tyson ones and then the Good and Gather Regular Nuggets. Um, nice, quick, easy meal. It's for lazy days. Um, my husband loves them. I love them. Sometimes I just don't want to cook from scratch or even do the most minimal of just warming something up. Uh, I know I have to warm these up, but you know, it's different sitting in front of the microwave versus just throw them in the oven. Uh, so they got Good and Gather brand because they are cheaper than Tyson. Now, Orida French fries were on sale. They're on sale two for four dollars which on its own is not a stellar deal but I had 15% off and there's another trick that I'm going to tell you coming up. Then I needed a few dairy items, I needed some sour cream, cottage cheese, and cream cheese and then I just got some bananas because it's always nice to have bananas around. Nothing fancy, nothing exciting, not even very healthy <laughs> actually but the trick, let me tell you the trick. Back at the end of the year there were deals going on where it was save 5% on any gift card up to $500. So what I did was I bought a $500 gift card for $450. And I've been using that gift card to buy my groceries. So when I bought the gift card, I got the Target discount on it. And then I also am stocking up on all of these deals. Plus I had some red card discounts in there. And so I'm essentially saving the $15 on the whole order of $100 plus the $1.88 on these, plus the 5% because I used a gift card that already had 5% off. Alrighty, let's break this down. In the video, I was getting all confused about the amounts because I didn't have them right in front of me, but my subtotal was $102.15. I then used the $15 off $100 coupon. I also used the $1.38 off or write a coupon, and then I had $1.62 in red card discounts. This brought me down to $84.15, but I paid with a gift card that I bought earlier in the year at a 10% discount, bringing my total down to $75.74, which is a savings of 25.9%. So that is how I stack my deals. I stack my coupons. If there's a good deal coming out to get a gift card, I get that. Then I use that to buy groceries and things along the way until the gift card runs out. My gift card just ran out and it's in February, I bought that gift card in, I think November, maybe early December, and so I've had it for quite a while. Main point here is stack your coupons, try to buy things when they're on sale, like these items that don't go on sale very often. If I didn't buy them right now, even though I don't necessarily need them right now, I would be buying them in you know one week, two weeks, three weeks, at full price, which just costs me money. 
I'm out. I would rather buy a little bit earlier and spend less money than wait a few weeks and spend more money. So those are the tips that I use for buying on sale and trying to make sure to get a good deal on everything. Stacking coupons is the way to go. The total on this order that I saved wasn't a stellar one, but that is better than paying full price. So I will take it. I think the best deal I've ever gotten was 55% off on something. I've done that quite a few times, especially when there's something like ground beef that they mark up to $7.99, then mark it back down to $3.99. That's a really easy way to get a really good deal on something and have your percentage be high. But for these items that don't go on sale, I will take it, it's a win. Let me know down below what tips and tricks you use to get good deals on your groceries and household supplies. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and you haven't yet, please subscribe, I'd love to see you. I have additional grocery haul videos and saving money videos that I will link up here. And if you're not interested in those, but you wanna stick around, I will link two other videos at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.